Hi. The first time the button wouldn't come up. I don't know. It was weird. Uh, yeah. Okay. No, I love your bangs. I can't believe you did them yourself. They look good. You just cut, but actually this in the middle, I don't know if you see, it's it's shorter. And these are longer. Oh, uh, I like mine longer toward the end. I love to wear bangs, but my hair doesn't look good with bangs. I want to wear them so bad, but they just, it doesn't. I, I have wispy or frizzy kind of hair. So anyway. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Well, today is Illuminous Mysteries, Mysteries of Light, and we are going to be praying for the world. 53 Hail Marys are going to go out, one Hail Mary for a group of people in the world that is in need of prayer. Um, we're also going to be praying for an end to this coronavirus, for peace on earth, and for the intention in the little book. And don't forget, we're also praying that socialism and communism does not come to America, as is said in the beginning of the rosary book you're reading. Oh, I love the way the red matches. Lipstick, this, and the shirt. Oh. I love your match. Oh, and your candle. <laughs> red, I, red, and the red. You're right. Very and matching. And the red and the red on the rosary. Remember the rosaries that we got at the shrine that you hang? I love it. Yeah. Oh, and look, you're wearing red. It's a red day. Go. Yeah, this is a confirmation rosary because I had a red cross. I put it on there. Oh, I love it. Um, so, Queen of the Holy Rosary, you have dined to come to Fatima to reveal to the three shepherd children the treasures of grace hidden in the rosary. Inspire my heart with a sincere love of this devotion in order that by meditating on the mysteries of our redemption, which are recalled in it, I may be enriched with its fruits and obtain peace for the world, the conversion of sinners and of Russia, and the favor which I ask of you in this rosary. I ask it for the greater glory of God, for your own honor, and for the good of souls, especially for my own. Amen. Amen. We're going to put on that armor of God. So we can Line it up. Line it up. Um, Ephesians 6, 10 through 19. Finally, be strong in the Lord and in the strength of his might. Put on the whole armor of God that you may be able to stand against the wills of the devil. For we are not contending against flesh and blood, but against the principalities, against the powers, against the world rulers of this present darkness, against the spiritual hosts of wickedness in the heavenly places. Therefore, take the whole armor of God that you may be able to withstand in the evil day. And having done all to stand, stand therefore, having fastened the belt of truth around your waist, and having put on the breastplate of righteousness, and having shed your feet with the equipment of the gospel of peace. <clears throat> Besides all these, taking the shield of faith, with which you can quench all the flaming darts of the evil one, and take the helmet of salvation and the sword of the Spirit, which is the word of God. Pray at all times in the Spirit with all prayers and supplication. Amen. 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 Okay, so the luminous mysteries. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. I believe in God the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. The third day he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven, is seated at the right hand of God, the Father Almighty. From thence he shall come to judge the living and the Antichrists and false religions, Matthew three sixteen through 17. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, 
on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. John is baptizing in the Jordan, proclaiming a baptism of repentance. For the Holy Father and bishops who define and defend the truth. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. John's words, I am the voice of one crying in the desert, make straight the way of the Lord. For catechists, theologians, and religion teachers. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. One mightier than I is coming after me. For preachers. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. I have baptized you with water. He will baptize you with the Holy Spirit. For evangelists and apologists. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Seeing Jesus, John exclaims, Behold the Lamb of God. For parish directors of faith formation. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Against protest of his unworthiness, John baptizes Jesus in the Jordan. For Catholic writers, journalists, and media workers. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. After Jesus' baptism, a voice from heaven. This is my beloved Son, in whom I am well pleased. For ecumenical and interfaith workers. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. The Spirit descends upon Jesus in the form of a dove. For those being persecuted for their faith. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. In this heavenly manifestation is instituted the sacrament of baptism. For the return of those who have left the Catholic faith. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. The divine trinity is manifested. The voice of the Father is heard as the Spirit descends on the Son. For the conversion of atheists and false teachers. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O oh, my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell, lead all souls to heaven, especially those most need of thy mercy. Amen. Loving Father in heaven, your Son, Jesus Christ, is the way, the truth, and the life. Strengthen your church to do his work of teaching. 
in the truth of God in the world. Deliver us from false teachers and prophets. Protect our children from the lure of counterfeit religions and false teachings that would draw them away from Christ and endanger their soul. Fill the teachers of your truth with the Holy Spirit and guide them further into the truth of Christ, the teacher. Amen. Amen. The second luminous mystery, the wedding of Cana, fidelity. Sins against marriage, John 2, 1 through 11. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Jesus, his mother, and disciples were invited to a wedding in Cana for couples preparing for marriage. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. During the wedding feast, the wine ran short. For those who teach marriage preparation classes. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Mary turned to Jesus, they have no wine. For marriage counselors. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Jesus replied, What would you have me do? My hour has not yet come. For those who are struggling in their marriage. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Mary said to the waiters, do whatever he tells you. For newlyweds. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. There were six stone water jars, each holding 15 to 20 gallons. For those who long to be married. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Jesus bids the waiters to fill the jars with water and then draw some out and take it to the chief steward. For those who seek forgiveness for sins committed against marriage. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. The chief steward said to the groom, Every man serves the good wine first, but you have saved the good wine until now. For those who work on marriage tribunals. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. At Mary's request, Jesus worked his first miracle. For those who counsel the widowed and the divorced. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. By his presence, Christian marriage was raised to the dignity of the sacrament. For those who struggle with sexual problems in marriage. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. 
Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell, lead all souls to heaven, especially those most need of thy mercy. Amen. Loving Father in heaven, your Son, Jesus Christ, sanctified marriage by his attendance at a wedding in Cana. Strengthen our commitment to marriage as the sacrament by which we learn how to love. Deliver us and our families from the temptations that destroy and distort your precious gift of marriage. Through this sacrament, Lead us to heaven and draw us into your everlasting love. Amen. Amen. The third luminous mystery, proclamation of the kingdom. Desire of holiness. Illness and disease. Mark 1, 14 through 15. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Jesus' words, repent for the kingdom of God is at hand. For the sick and suffering. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. My kingdom is not of this world. For doctors and nurses. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Unless a man be born again of water and the Spirit, he cannot enter the kingdom of heaven. For auxiliary health care workers. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Whoever does not accept the kingdom of God as a little child will not enter into it. For those doing medical research. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. I have come to call the sinners, not the just. For psychiatrists and psychologists. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Love your enemy. Pray for those who persecute you for those with the gift of spiritual healing. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Blessed are the poor in spirit, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. For priests who exercise Christ's healing gift in confession and anointing. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Blessed are they who hunger and thirst for justice, for they shall be satisfied. For those who are mentally ill. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Blessed are those who suffer persecution for justice's sake, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. For those who work with the disabled. 
Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. You are peace. Upon this rock I will build my church and give you the keys of the kingdom of heaven. For those who care for the chronically ill. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst the women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell, lead all souls to heaven, especially those most need of thy mercy. Amen. Loving Father in heaven, your Son came among us to heal, forgive, and free us from bondage. Strengthen and encourage all who work in the healing professions. Walk with those who suffer and give them hope. Drive far from us the spirit of disease, sickness, and death. And by the power of your Holy Spirit, restore your people to the fullness of health and wholeness. Amen. Amen. The fourth luminous mystery, the transfiguration, spiritual courage. Identity confusion, Luke 9, 28 through 31. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Jesus took Peter, James, and John up a high mountain to pray. For parents and grandparents. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Jesus was transfigured before them. For orphans and those from broken homes. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. His face became as dazzling as the sun, his clothes as radiant as the For counselors and psychologists. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. This was to fortify their faith to withstand the coming tragedy of the Passion. For people who are confused about gender identities. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Jesus foresaw the scandal of the cross and prepared it, prepared them for it by the manifestation of his glory. For immigrants and those without a country. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Moses and Elias, law and prophet of the Old Testament, conversing with Jesus about his passion. For those with mental and identity disorders. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Do not think I have come to destroy the law or the prophets, but to fulfill them. For the homeless and the unemployed. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. 
Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. From a cloud came a voice, This is my beloved Son, listen to him. For those who block out the pain of their own identity. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Jesus admonished them not to tell the vision to anyone until the Son of Man rises from the dead. For those who hide behind a vain and false image. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. We too will behold the transfigured Jesus on that last day. For those who have no spiritual identity or home. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O oh my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell. Lead all souls to heaven, especially those most need of thy mercy. Amen. Loving Father in heaven, at the transfiguration your Son revealed his true glory, the glory of the, as of the only begotten Son of the Father. Help us to see ourselves as you have made us. Remove the scales of vanity and pride from our lives and teach us humility. Heal all those who would suffer from confusion, fear, and loneliness because they do not know who they are or what their lives are for. Help us to welcome them and introduce them to Christ the Lord, who to know is to love life itself. Amen. Amen. The fifth luminous mystery, the institution of the Eucharist, love of the Eucharist. Division and hatred of the sacred, John 6, 51 through 101. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Jesus' words, I have eagerly desired to eat this Passover with you before I suffer. For the Pope, bishops, and priests. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Jesus took bread, blessed it, take and eat, this is my body. For deacons and religious. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Taking the wine, this cup is the new covenant in my blood shed for you. For an increase in vocations to the priesthood. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. At that Eucharistic meal, Jesus celebrated the first Mass. For exorcists and ministers of healing. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. At every Mass, the sacrifice of Calvary is made present. For those possessed by demons. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. 
Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. At the Last Supper, Jesus instituted the Sacrament of Holy Orders to perpetuate this sacrifice. For those trapped in violence, division, and hatred. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Whoever eats my flesh and drinks my blood remains in me, and I in him. For those who hate Christ and his church. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. The Eucharist is a sacrifice inasmuch as it is offered up, and a sacrament inasmuch as it is received. For those who work for religious freedom. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. In the Mass we offer ourselves to God, and God gives himself to us. For peace to reign in the heart of humanity. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. The Mass will be fruitful in the measure of our surrender to the Father. For an increase in Eucharistic adoration. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell, lead all souls to heaven, especially those most need of thy mercy. Amen. Loving Father in heaven, you sent your Son to bring peace to the world by reconciling a rebellious race to your everlasting love. In the Eucharist, he left a memorial of our sacrifice of peace and established his Eucharistic presence on earth until the end of time. Deliver us from all hatred of the sacred and from the division, strife, and violence that result from our hatred of you and your love. Make us ministers of reconciliation and grant us your peace. Amen. Amen. Hail, Holy Queen, Mother of Mercy, our life, our sweetness, and our hope. To you do we cry, poor banished children of Eve. To you do we send up our sighs, mourning, and weeping in this valley of tears. Turn then, O most gracious Advocate, your eyes of mercy toward us, and after this our exile. Show unto us the blessed fruit of your womb, Jesus. O clement, O loving, O sweet Virgin Mary, pray for us, O Holy Mother of God, that we may be made worthy of the promises of Christ. Amen. Amen. Let, let us pray, O God, whose only begotten Son, by his life, death, and resurrection has purchased for us the rewards of eternal life. Grant, we beseech ye, that by meditating upon these mysteries of the most holy rosary of the Blessed Virgin Mary, that we may imitate what they contain and obtain what they promise through the same Christ, our Lord. Amen. St. Michael, the Archangel. Defend us in battle. Be our protection against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do thou, O Prince of the heavenly host, by the power of God, the rust into hell, Satan, and all the evil spirits who wander through the world for the ruin of souls. Amen.
and let's do our Holy Spirit prayer for our discussion and our day. Come, Holy Spirit, fill the hearts of your faithful and enkindle in them the fire of your love. Send forth your Spirit, and they shall be created, and you shall renew the face of the earth. O oh God, by the light of the Holy Spirit, you have taught the hearts of your faithful. In that same Spirit, help us to know what is truly right and always to rejoice in your consolation. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. You know, when we were going through, I'm trying to remember which mystery it was, um, but... You said um, the, uh, the kingdom of God is at hand. And then the intention was for the sick and, um, let's see, where is it? For, for the sick, oh, the sick and the suffering in number one um, of, uh, preaching the kingdom which one is that that is a uh, proclamation of the kingdom that's the third luminous mystery number one um so you say jesus's words repent for the kingdom of god is at hand and then we say for the sick and suffering and it came to me there are so many people i remember when i was in hospice with my mother and there were so many empty rooms that there were no families with them. And some of them were crying out in pain. And some of them were um, crying. And some of them were just, you know, just you could see that they were, you know, um, in turmoil to some degree. And so when that came to me, that vision of those of that hospice came to me. And I remember a story, and I don't know where it's from or what it was about, but um, I think it was a movie that I saw. I think it was one of those, um, that uh, that Protestant thing that they have out. I uh, and I joined it for like a minute, but then I wasn't real that happy, but I did like the movie. But I think the guy in it was a pastor, and someone was dying, and he went to his bedside, and he said, you know, um, all you have to do is repent and, you know, come to Jesus and repent your sins. And the guy who had been a rich man and he's like, you know, no, uh, I'm not going to, I can't or whatever. And then somehow he turned it and then he said, I, I, I want to do it. I want to do it. And he turned from a person in turmoil to a person with a peace and a hope and um, and you could really see the man who played this part did it really well for someone who was resisting that um, repent because it's hard for us to admit our sins and it's hard for us to say our sorry. You know, human beings, we have a hard time with that. Um, and my mother told me, you have a hard time with forgiveness. She told me this on her deathbed and she was right. I did. And um, so I've worked really hard on that. My mom died November 2018, and I've worked really hard on forgiveness. And I think I understand it now. And I look for it wherever I look, whether it's in movies or whatever. And I just, I think it's so important for us to pray for those that we can't reach. You know, people can't go into people because of COVID. They're not allowing people to visit, even families, right? You know, people can't have these these uh, funerals even. So they're, they're even, you know, well, I mean, at some the outside grave site, they can do it. But some of them, you know, you can only have 10. And so I just thought about all of that when it hit me and just praying for those people that are in turmoil and send them your guardian angel to to enlighten them for a moment to realize I can repent like we have to. The message is out there, but we have to keep echoing it and echoing it and echoing it because you never know who might hear it the moment and they might need, you know, it might save their soul. So you don't know what your words can do to help save someone. So it's, I just think that that just really hit me hard today with that. 
Um, and then um, overall, the, the um, luminous mysteries is to illuminate us, right? They're the mysteries of light. And John Paul II, um, St. John Paul II, um, uh, instituted these, I don't know, if, I guess it was the 50s or the, I guess, or the 60s. I'm sorry, I'm not really good at the years there. Um, but he was there a long time, I know that. Um, he was a favorite of my mom's, and he was a very holy person, I believe. And some people resent him starting it. But I personally think that because in the last 40 years, the family has been under attack, when it came out with the free love and all the social programs that have destroyed um, uh, many of our um, lower income, our um, black um, lower income um, communities, and just just the family as a whole. So today, when we were um, praying, um, and the the whole thing is in the beginning with our um, first. Um, luminous mystery is gratitude for the gift of faith. And then it, it talks about, you know, the, the, the Holy Father, the bishops who define and defend the truth. And right now, a lot of us feel that um, some of the Pope's decisions are not good ones and go against our um, doctrine. And, um, and personally, I don't know if he's just a confused man or if um, if some people believe it's it's the evil in the church that has come in little by little, I don't know. That's above my pay grade. But I pray so hard for the Holy Father that he can see truth because a part of me feels like the way that he has aligned himself with China, who has done so much horrible, so many horrible things against their own people and, and locking people up and all. So, and then he is aligning with them when they're tearing, tearing down our churches in China and the Christian China, Chinese are being so persecuted so horribly. So I'm just praying for them. And then, um, and then praying that, the Pope can stop errors that he does seem to be doing, whether he's confused or whether it's evil influencing him, because the Pope is just as easily influenced as a human being as we are. And when you align yourself, it's like it's like a family that there's a lot of good morning, Joe, that there's a lot of abuse, sometimes an abused person will align themselves with the abuser. And so I wonder, because um, he comes from a socialist country and he taps into all the socialism, like he has congratulated Biden when he hasn't won, but he doesn't understand our political, so I could give him a pass there. Um, but and, and, and sometimes, just like during the World War II, they were helping people escape. Many, many Catholics were helping people escape, but the Pope wasn't speaking out because he felt it put them more in danger. So my prayer is that is the Pope's reasoning for what he's doing. And that's why I say I cannot judge him. Number one, it's above my my intelligence level, I believe. Um, and I believe it's above his. I believe that God and the Holy Spirit is influencing him as well as evil, because there is nothing like evil that is going to attack the Catholic Church, the only church that Christ himself founded. So, of course, the devil's going to attack, and of course, he's going to try to put someone in there he can easily influence. So, we have to pray super hard for our Pope um, that he become enlightened. And then I think of the two Pope um, prophecy from one of the, um, one of the, uh, say, um, one of the, um, prophecies that the church has actually approved. I can't remember, but it's one about the two popes. So when we get to the last, um, luminous mystery, it's about, um, those possessed by demons. Um, there's a lot of people acting out 
that are committing violence, that are committing hatred, some of them for pay, whatever the reason, they're being influenced to do wrong against their country. Some of them, it's about greed. So the ultimate thing is about those who hate Christ and his church. So when they, when, when evil lines itself with the church, it can direct it and pull it by the nose. And so that is what I feel is happening to some degree. And so if we have this slim chance of Trump um, victory, um, and only if, if, if it happens, it is only through the Holy Spirit. It has happened three times in our nation's history. And um, it's all out there um, on there. There are like the 1866 and then the 18-something. And then, um, and then uh, John, Ke- John F. Kennedy was um, the same thing happened. So we... I have slim hope. I I do have hope that it could, that if anybody could do it, it would be Trump. And if anybody could make that happen, um, the Holy Spirit can can lead the way. And this may all be happening for the illumination and to bring us to our knees for people to really believe that. Um, like I told my son when he said, I just don't know if I believe because something happened with his car and um, he didn't do anything on purpose. And then he got persecuted for it. And I said, the Holy Spirit can go in there and fix things. He said, Mom, it's already done. The court has already decided. And I said, they're not more powerful than God. And guess what? It never happened. His license was never suspended. But he never did do anything wrong. It was a company that went out of business immediately thereafter and he couldn't find the people to prove in court. So he got persecuted, but the Holy Spirit saved him and, and it never happened. And he kept calling and the attorney kept saying, don't worry about it. It, You're lucky. It got overlooked and you're lucky. And it never happened. It's not on his record. There's, you know, so it doesn't affect his insurance. So we don't know how the Holy Spirit worked. So those who are in hatred of Christ as church, we have to remember that even if, even if say, Biden got four years and what will happen um, is what's happening right now in, in uh, California, they're not allowed to go to church and they're fighting it. These Protestant churches, Catholic churches, they're suing the state to say we, they're being more persecuted than secular places. So they're fighting it. And so, um, so that we're all being brought to our knees. Well, California is just a very sinful place. There's just very, you know, and we could get that the whole country, but maybe they will, they are being brought to their knees to help them illuminate what's happening. And maybe we are all seeing that. And if it happens that, that Joe Biden will get four years, because that's all he would get um, because of his age. So if he were to have that, it would be a time will be brought to our knees. So we have to, we have to believe that if that happens, that that God is allowing that for a purpose and that the Holy Spirit is coming forth. So that all came to me. Could the, everyone can hate the church, but the Holy Spirit will protect the church no matter who is in charge, no matter what happens, no matter who is in political, he is going to protect the church. And we can be assured of that because he told us in his word. So that's that all just kind of came to me today. What did you get? And and just like that, he also protected the Bible to be here yes. all the years through yes. all everything. It's still here. The crusades, they were trying to destroy it. And all the little monks, all the little monks that he copied it for all those years, they took it and they hid it and they put it in caves and they they did everything. They they sacrificed their lives for our Bible. All of the Catholic monks, all of the Catholic people who saved that Bible from the Muslim invasions, and then eventually the Protestants came and changed it somewhat. But um, but you never know. Maybe God, you know, is going to use that to help illuminate. And little by little, look, Scott Hahn, look, um, Cavens, whatever. But anyway, I'm sorry. Go ahead. Yeah. I, I stayed with the proclamation of the kingdom. Yeah. That I love the beef foods. I love, yeah. um, that part of this rosary so much. Yeah. Um, um, in our universal search for happiness, we have perhaps tried many things, some of which have left us in bondage. 
unable to break out of the prison that sin has created. Jesus knocks on our door, offering us the remedy. But we must do something. We must repent and believe that he is the answer, the one who will lead to true and complete freedom. And when he needs, when he asks of us for something, we need to say yes, like Mary did. And do. We need to, sometimes it's not comfortable for us. Sometimes it's, it's, it's hard for us to do because we're, we're used to what we're used to. We got our egos and we need our humility. We got to put aside our pride for our humility. We need to get out of our comfort zone and we need to, um, even though we feel awkward at times, like I do, I feel awkward at times. I'm very, um, believe it or not, I'm very shy, really. I'm not a very outgoing person. But when someone makes asks me to speak about Jesus, that just... I can't not say anything. It's like, I can't. It's like all my shyness, all my, I don't have the right words, all my, everything disappears. And I just want to share. And you helped me do that. Love about Jesus. I just want to share it. In my simple words I have, I share it because that's what I feel like I'm called to do. And You're what not as simple as you think you are. We are all called to do this. We are all called to get out of our comfort zones and to go out there and spread Christ crucified. And that's what I try to do. It's a little hard now because of COVID, yeah. but as soon as COVID, the, the vaccine comes and I get that vaccine, man, I've been preparing all this time in, in um, what do you call it, hibernating all this time with God's Bible so, yes, I'm gonna... I love your saint of the day. I'm really <laughs> loving your saint of the day. You see, Those that, the, you see girl, that so was meant for you to do alone. I'm telling you, that was meant. I couldn't do it. I couldn't keep up with you, girl. I couldn't keep up with you. And I'm telling you, it's so good. You are doing. Oh, my gosh. I'm loving that. I'm loving it. I'm learning a lot. It's actually, and it's you're actually, teaching, you're proclamating the, the, the kingdom. Yeah. I love it. It is a little class for me every day because it's like, I feel like I met somebody new. I yeah. met somebody in my life. And, and you're introducing them. You're proclaiming the kingdom as you introduce them. And I love that too. So um, I, I am making little tiny um, groups of it. And I'm going to post it also in YouTube in case somebody doesn't, you know, can't find me so um if you want to hear about saints it should be on there too yeah but you should be you your your youtube is at the top because remember we posted it so if anybody wants to find your youtube all they have to do is go on your profile your facebook profile i try to also put our rosaries on there and my reading on there so people can find it if they want to you know if they're in a hurry and they want to do a little something and they want to pray with us they can find it there too. Um, anyway, also the reading today is so good. It is the genealogy of Jesus. And you posted something very good on that, that I stole from you and put it on my mother, Mary rosary and tea time with mother Mary. Um, I'm glad you did because not many people look at it because it's so long. Oh, it was, it's, it's very interesting. Um, I know it's a lot of long words and I won't be able to do a reading today because I have uh, a little Bible study I do at 10. So I won't be able to do the reading today, but um, it's really good. So I'm going to quickly read, if I can, the um, devotional on that, if that's okay. It's not too long. Um <laughs> The genealogy of Jesus Christ, the son of David, the son of Abraham, Matthew 1, 1. A family of liars, adulterers, murderers, fornicators, connivers, con con and blasphemers, blasphemers. What a miserable lot. And yet the most famous member of this family tree isn't known for some gross sin or hideous crime. Quite the opposite, in fact. He is the God. He is God become man, Jesus Christ, our Savior. Why do you think God chose such a rug gallery of ancestors for his son? Is this the best he could do? 
he can come up with? Well, in a sense, yes. No matter how good any family may look on paper, they are still fallen, imperfect human beings. Mm -hmm. Centuries of biblical history have shown us that God doesn't usually choose the bravest or the strongest or even the holiest people to fulfill his plan. He chooses ordinary, sinful people. And so Jesus was born into an imperfect line, but a line that was made holy by God's grace. That wasn't a problem for God, though. He can work with anything. In fact, it delights him to fill us cracked and leaky vessels through though we are with his love. Do you feel unworthy of being part of God's plan? You're right. You are. We all are. But however spotty our person history, our personal history, our family tree may be, it doesn't keep the Lord from offering us a new identity as his sons and daughters. All who are baptized into Christ are grafted into a spotless lineage and given the grace to grow into their new inheritance. And actually, um, yesterday I had an Acts Bible study which was very good. It was very insightful. We learned a lot, right? Gene, Gene was there. Um, and I mean, God reaches to everybody. And yesterday it was amazing because he reached a um, eunuch, a eunuch through Philip. Mm -hmm. And he knew nothing about our Lord, but yet he was still reading the Bible, trying to understand. And he was asking for guidance from from somebody and God sent him Philip mm -hmm. and he was converted and he was baptized there on the spot. And that's amazing how God works that way. We are all included in his plan. Mm -hmm. We are all included. It doesn't matter where we are, who we are, where we come for, mm -hmm. from or what we have done. Mm -hmm. Look at Paul. It doesn't matter what we have done. Mm -hmm. He wants us. Yes. God a line of misfits and mm -hmm. with his power. And he used this family as an important part of his plan. He is ready to do the same for you. You are more than able to bring Christ into the world, just as David, Solomon, Moses, and all the others did. So come to the Lord and ask him to show you his plans for you. Does he want you to bring Christ and suffering in your life? Will you let him renew your zeal for sharing the good news? Always remember that you are part of a royal line and nothing is impossible for God. Father, help me to take up my role in your plan. Unworthy though I am, let me be your light to the world. Amen. Mm -hmm. Amen. So we all need to be the, you know, his light to the world. Yeah. Even our family. If and, we can't go. Yeah. And on Scribed, when it was talking about, I thought, oh, no, the genealogy, what on earth are they going to write? How? Because I, I, it's like it starts at the beginning. It says, oh, God, it's like watching someone's family movies. Right. But <laughs> but when you start to get into genealogy and you find out it's your family, it gets so interesting. Like uh, when I went through and saw each one that died and I found out, you know, one of them died of stomach cancer. One of them died of cholera. And I feel so sad. And I'm like, oh, my gosh, I don't know this person, but they're my ancestor. And I'm feeling sadness over their death. So the same thing happened to me as I studied the Bible. The same thing, because that's our family. Like Jeff Caven said, that's your family. That's your family journey. So all of a sudden, it gets interesting. The more you know, the more interesting it gets. And then at the end here of what Scribe put in is they put, the, the, the Jesus prayer, Lord Jesus Christ, son of God, have mercy on me. When I, I have a problem, I get overwhelmed really easily. Like if I just have five things to do, I'm like, I start hyperventilating, like, like I get so nervous. It's so retarded. I'm so retarded. I, yeah. Yeah. I think it's just part of ADD or something. I don't know, but I just, I start shaking sometimes when I have like a bunch of stuff to do. And then I try to hurry up and do it really fast so that I get, I'm scared. I'm going to forget. I'm scared. I'm going to mess up something. I'm just, you know, 
I, I like when I get a bill in, like my tax bill, I'm like, oh God, I got to get it in the mail right way. Sometimes I will ride out in the middle of the night. I'm scared to death driving at night, but I will get to the post office with that because I'm so scared. I'm going to mess up and forget to have it in there by December 30th. I'm so retarded. I overcompensate because I'm so afraid, you know, but anyway, um, that prayer today, um, Lord Jesus Christ, son of God, have mercy on me. We can say that to anybody, somebody in hospice. You can just look, this is the prayer. Just say it over and over. And God will start speaking to you and things will be illuminated from that. And, and then just Jesus. If you can't remember Lord Jesus Christ, son of God, have mercy on me, Jesus. And if, and if you remember that and you can remember a little bit more, Jesus have mercy on me. So just those three things. Anytime you're feeling overwhelmed and you can't think straight, like a lot of the NDEs, they're like, I was going to hell and I, and I couldn't remember a prayer. I couldn't even remember an Our Father because I hadn't said it since I was a child. And then all of a sudden, some of the words kept coming. And then I, I had a couple of the words and then a couple more. And they talk about this. And then all of a sudden, God reached down and pulled me out of that hell of the abyss I was going to. So just keep this in your mind. Lord Jesus Christ, Son of God, have mercy on me over and over. Just say it throughout the day. It will always be in your mind. You can never forget it, even if you have ADD. If you say that enough, like these prayers are burned in my mind. The Hail Mary, the Our Father, they're burned. Sometimes do I get a little tripped up? Yeah, but they're burned in my mind because we just repeat them. So just repeat every day, Lord Jesus Christ, Son of God, have mercy on me. When you're feeling troubled, when you're feeling overwhelmed, when you're feeling scared, when you're feeling, no matter what you're feeling, say it. Anyway, I know you got to get out of here at 930. Okay. Why do you say this prayer at the end, Jeanette? Oh, you love, you love me to say the story of it. You I guys, love it. I know why I can see you with your kid in the morning. <laughs> You're so funny. You were so beautiful, all your pictures. I can see you and the kids being crazy and they're like, mom, especially Sabina. I can see Sabina, yeah. mom. And yet now she's the one blessing you. So I, in my mind, I see your family. So I want you to share the story. And I wish people could see you doing that. Like I can see you in my mind. Go tell them the story of why. Yeah, I have four kids. So I would um, every, every morning and they're all a year apart. So they're kind of very close in age. And every morning I would bring them to school. Um, I was, I was able, it was very tight, but I was able to stay home with them. My husband had two jobs. He worked so hard and I was able to stay home with them. So, yeah. So I made sure um, that they got the proper education religiously anyway i tried my best you know you did good and you did your went to, we went to prep and everything and i like to include a blessing before i left them at school um i would give them numbers 6 24 through 26 the blessing that i believe moses gave was told to give to his people um so um, it goes, may the Lord bless you and keep you. May the Lord let his face shine upon you and be gracious to you. May the Lord look upon you kindly and give you peace. And I like to add and love and joy and whatever other thing that we need in our lives. But with peace kind of covers everything. It does. And I do it with the sign of the cross on the forehead and then I send them on their way. So I just, I just like to do that with everybody I love. It's a I beautiful do. tradition, and your kids remember that. And when you're gone, they're going to remember that especially. It's going to be something that warms their heart, you know? So I and, and also, you know, I come from a Latin background, and mm -hmm. um, if you know about the Latin background or if you've seen any movies or soap operas or whatever, you'll see that at the end, the children always wait for that blessing from the mother. It doesn't matter what it is are they will say goodbye you know i'll see you later have a good day a blessing please they would always ask for a blessing from their parents yeah from other or whatever and you'd always see them do a blessing they'd say vaya con dios or que dios vaya con vos or whatever well you know italy came, yeah so, italy spanish people come from italy you know it kind of it it comes italy just so it makes sense you know makes sense so, 
So anyway, so that's from it's number six, 2426. And please, it's amazing to do this. If you get in the habit of doing it. To, and now your daughter does it to you. And now my daughter, when she sees I'm stressed or when I'm going to a doctor visit or whatever, I'm worried, she will say, Mom, please, what are you doing? Come here. Let me give you a blessing. Yeah. May the Lord keep you. My son gave it to me the other night. Did he? You know? I want your son to, to play so, with my grandson on, uh, on the virtual um, thing because they both do that. They both yeah. do that. We have to. Somehow we got to get them together in this COVID thing online or I don't know. I got to figure it out. Maybe FaceTime sometime. We yeah, can do maybe that. at Christmas. I don't know. I hope my grandson will be there at Christmas. He might be going to his girlfriends though. I don't know. But yeah. if he's there, I'll grab him at FaceTime and say, Joey, I want you to I want to introduce you to Junior. You guys both play games and we could get them in a little conversation and maybe that would be awesome. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Maybe they'll agree to meet in one of the virtual because they go in virtual worlds and meet people. Yes. I don't know yes. how that works, but they know how it works. Yes. What gap anyway. So, well, bye bye, guys. Have a blessed day, and I'll see you later for more prayer. Bye bye.